They also said that registration is not required. There's a caveat to that. If you do want to enforce your copyright, if you want to sue somebody in federal court for infringement of your copyright, you do have to register before you can file a suit. But you can register at any time. You don't have to register today. You don't have to register within one month. But uh, there's certain advantages to registering. There's certain advantages to registering early. It does make it a public record that you are claiming copyright in this, if there's any, ever any question. Um, and in fact, if you file within five years of uh, publication, it's con the copyright registration is considered undisputed evidence of a valid copyright. In other words, somebody can't say, no, you had that out in the public domain, so well, now I filed a copyright registration. Uh, you can also file with U.S. Customs to prevent the importation of infringing goods if you have a copyright registration. Um, and if you file, this one's really important, this is really the most important reason to file a copyright registration and to do it soon. If you do it within three, month of, uh, three months of publication or before an infringement, and I always say file within that three month window, because if you wait till five months, somebody may have infringed it already, and then you lose this benefit. But if you do file within that three month window, or before any infringement, uh, you can be entitled to statutory damages and attorney fees. And statutory damages basically means you don't have to prove that you were harmed or damaged. You don't have to prove that there were any dollar value to the damages. And even if the damages were only $100, for example, you can actually, the court can actually uh, assign $150,000, I believe that's the current amount, uh, in damages. So that's probably one of the biggest reasons to file copyright registration. It's a $35 uh, registration fee, and you can do it all online, and that's a huge benefit. And I give a short example here. This is an actual real life example. Somebody uh, came to me once, a client, and said that they had been accused of infringing somebody's copyright. And the complaint that was filed sought statutory damages. So they're thinking they're going to be faced with this $150,000 uh, fine, plus having to pay attorney fees uh, to go to court. And they were pretty scared, as you can imagine. Well, we checked into it, and they hadn't filed a copyright registration until after the alleged infringement. So there went the statutory damages out the window, and now we were talking about, so what are your actual damages, and what can you actually prove as a dollar value? So it, there was a huge difference in this case, and they ended up settling for a lot less than $150,000. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Uh, especially as a copyright owner, you want you, you don't want the other side to come to you and say, well, you didn't file in time, you have to prove damages, and we don't think you have much damages. So. so what about defending your copyright? You want to take all the steps to protect your copyright. Like I just said, I just gave you an example of somebody who didn't take all the steps or they didn't take them in time. Um, and then you want to police your copyright. You want to see if anybody else is uh, infringing on your copyright. And if you see it, you need to contact them right away or work with an attorney to contact them and have them stop. You don't want it becoming public domain. Now, people always ask me, well, you said work with an attorney, but what if I can't afford to work with an attorney? And that can be expensive, but in cases especially where there are damages, either you can prove damages or you can say, I filed my registration within three months, I'm entitled statutory damages. Now all of a sudden you're talking at least $150,000 plus attorney fees. Um, and, and so you may be able to find an attorney who's willing to take it on that basis, take it on a percentage basis, uh, just like they do on uh, car accidents. Um, and you may also be able to find an attorney that's willing to take your case just because it's just because of the publicity. If you're going up against a big company uh, and it's going to be making the 
Channel 9 News every night. It's going to be in the newspaper. Some attorneys just want their name associated with that case. It's free advertising, so. So keep that in mind. Just because you don't have the money to hire an attorney, you should still check into uh, enforcing your copyright. If you have a copyright, if it's a valid copyright, and you think that somebody uh, is infringing it. <coughs>